There's not many places on this planet that is truly untamed and unexplored. The ocean is one, and in terms of land masses, the Antarctic is the other. It's a hard job. It's 24-7. It is an extreme environment. It's a very harsh place to work. It's a very dangerous place to work. But I love adventure. It's the most dramatic continent on the planet. The old explorer has called it the land of the gods. In my lifetime, that whole area of Earth has changed. The winter sea ice season is 90 days short. We have seen peninsulas turn into islands, islands pop out from under glaciers, and we have seen radical changes in the seabird populations. We camp out here for five days. We've been studying the penguins here for over a decade. Things that are happening down here will start happening also in other areas around the world. It's not just a localized issue, it's a world issue. So right out there, I just saw a humpback whale blow. If you guys see any other whales, let us know. What we would like to do is start understanding more about the roles of marine mammals in the Antarctic ecosystem. I think that's our 25th biopsy. Pack ice here, which could slow us down. The biggest concern I have is if that load does push us that ice in, get us trapped. We're sitting there and the wind blows all of this ice back this way, swinging door that was slammed shut on us down there. We don't want that. So the buzzer you hear right now is the warning signal that we're just about to hit the bottom. Holy crap. Yeah, we, just, I, we almost hit I the bottom. It. We're 10,000 miles from our labs at home, so you never know when there's going to be a surprise out there. These transmitters tell us how long they're gone. So our data tells us how easy is it for them to go feed. New technologies as we go forward are going to be the absolute key to study this ocean. I feel like what we're doing is important work. It's work that needs to be done. And it's almost like I don't have a choice. <laughs> I, need, I need to do this. I mean, there is a complete sense of responsibility. We can't mess this up. I want to understand where the system is going to give the next generation the best leg up to prepare for it.